Hey guys, we are going to start introducing a little bit about physics, what it is, and the difference between scalar and vector. All right, so first off, just what is physics? Well, physics is basically um, the science of matter and its motion. So it deals with concepts like force, energy, mass, charge, uh, magnetism. As an experimental science, the, basically the whole goal is to understand our natural world. We're trying to describe a complex universe with some very simply, uh, simple clarifying laws. All right, so um, I know you've probably heard the term scalar and vector before. Scalar is basically just the magnitude of a partic particular quantity. So like your speedometer or th what determines your speed on your car, that is just giving you the magnitude of your um, of your of your travel, the meters per second there. You can add and subtract scalar quantities just using simple algebraic rules, okay? All right, now velocity is a little different. Velocity has a magnitude and a direction. Um, that means that we cannot add or subtract them algebraically. We have to break them down into X and Y components. Uh, resultant vectors and analyze them in that way using trigonometry. All right, so when we're talking about describing a vector in terms of directions, um, there are a bunch of methods that can be employed. Um, primarily in our class, we're going to use two different methods. We're either going to use the XY coordinate system, where in this system, um, basically, to the top of your x-axis, that's going to be all your positive y directions. And then below, this is all going to be your negative. And then in terms of the x, it's going to be based on where it's located um, in reference to your y-axis. So positive x's are over here, and then the negative x direction is over there. The other way we might describe motion um, is with our compass headings. So you got north, east, south, and west. So I remember this as never eat soggy waffles. Um, and we're always going to uh, describe the direction um, in relation to another reference point. So we might say um, northeast of the horizon or something to that effect. Okay, so I threw up um, a couple of words that we're going to look at while we are in this unit. Um, which is called kinematics, okay? All right, so we're just gonna go through all these words and we're gonna label them as vector or scalar. All right, so position, believe it or not, is a vector quantity. That means it has magnitude and position. Acceleration, also a vector quantity. So we're gonna have um, both magnitude and direction speed. This is gonna be a scalar quantity. Velocity is the vector quantity. Distance, again, a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. And last but not least, force is another vector quantity.